Still, there is no major negativity against this aspect. Uh, there, was, there were certain concerns raised in the public regarding the transparency of the program. But we have shown them that actually there is no such concern. And uh, we are on the way to revive it. Um, IMA has been taking it forward over the last several years. Um, some years back, maybe around four to five years back, when I started talking about this in IMA fora, uh, actually initially there were some uh, comments like, why should IMA get involved in this? But sometime later, uh, when Srijitan Kumar became the state president, we formed a committee. And uh, since then, we have been having a committee regularly. So we have been trying to address some aspects of this problem. At least there is awareness among our members has been slightly created. And uh, sometime later, when one of our uh, young members who was an office bearer along with me at Toronto IMA, developed a renal problem and had to have renal transplantation. Uh, it, was, it came as a big shock as that, really, do we need that? One of us is facing that problem, so can it be myself later on? So suddenly, uh, there was an urge to help and people understood that a lack of a donor in the family can be a big problem. So, I think slowly, even among our members, this awareness is now being created. But as has been pointed out uh, by, uh, during, um, by, the, by our uh, President Vijayaram, uh, actually now I feel uh, the major block is the, um, the inability or the, uh, the uh, difficulty of medical professionals itself to uh, to carry forward their duty, that is to uh, perform a render declaration when needed. So I think that has to be worked upon now. And uh, uh, two months back, that is at, on the occasion of our National Transplant Day, um, I also wish to point out that the present state leadership, especially our Secretary Dr. Sulfi, is very much inclined to carry this forward program. If you watch his Facebook post, he has been actually very much for this and I feel our state leadership is at its best now. So it's a very ideal climate to carry forward this as, as a medical organization, organization of medical professionals, I think we are now more in a position to carry out our responsibility. So let us carry this forward. And so we decided along with Dr. Noble and also the Medical Neurologists Association that we should conduct meetings to first to remove the, uh, to make brain death declaration more transparent so that people feel more encouraged to carry it forward. Also to carry out CMEs across the state uh, to uh, carry this forward. And I'm very happy that IMA Code Code has come forward as the first uh, uh, branch to uh, uh, conduct the CME. And we hope this example will be followed by across the state by several other districts also. So we need, we need to work on that. And uh, uh, I feel we should uh, uh, encourage this uh, venture by Kodakod IMA and uh, uh, let us hear this uh, CME. And I feel happy to, uh, my, uh, to be here. Uh, incidentally, Kodakod was the branch where I started my AMA activities. So, uh, later on when I moved to Trivandrum, I shifted my branch. So, happy to come back to my first time in my branch. And uh, 